As part of our commitment 2016 election coverage, WGAL is covering all of the races that impact the Susquehanna Valley, from the presidential contest to the state and local races. It's our commitment to you to make you a better informed voter. I'm joined now by the candidates running for the 41st legislative district in the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. The district covers parts of Lancaster County west of the city from Landisville to Peckway. The candidates are from left to right. Nick Selch, a retired teacher who also started a technology company and worked for RCA. He's from Lancaster Township and Republican incumbent Brett Miller from East Hempfield Township. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Thanks Thank for you. having us. What do you think the priority should be for the state legislature if you go to Harrisburg? Your number one priority. Well, la last year they didn't pay, they didn't pass the state budget till Christmas and spent seven months not paying bills. This was a huge problem. The budget expresses what's important in this state to the people of the state. And if we can't even solve these kinds of problems when people are working full time, we need to do that. Uh, and my priority would be get the budget passed on time. Uh, this, uh, this past year's budget was passed only three weeks late and we had uh, uh, revenues, uh, the, the taxes and all of that were not even solved until three weeks after the time. And I think we need to really work on this stuff full time, get it done before the time so all the services can be delivered. Representative Miller, why did that happen? I know it is a bit of old news, but why did that happen? I know the Republican controlled legislature, um, you know, said the governor was responsible. Mm -hmm. the, the governor said the lawmakers were responsible. Well, first, in terms of priorities uh, for the people of Pennsylvania, what I would believe is a priority should be that uh, government should live within its means like everyone else has to in order uh, to run a fiscally responsible budget that the people themselves runs, the they run, the, the businesses of, of Lancaster run, and the government should run. So what happened in terms of the budget was we passed the budget on time, put it on the governor's desk, it, it matched our revenues, with the amount of spending, which is a constitutional requirement. And the governor, however, wanted a 16, 12, 13 to 16 percent increase in spending and a tax increase to go for it. And wanted we, more for education. A, a, a lot of good things, but more which would require more taxes. So what happened was we presented to him, he vetoed that budget. Three quarters of that budget were exactly what he wanted or more, and he vetoed even those amounts. So we kept trying to get that budget passed, and eventually, as, as was just said, it was eventually passed, even though se several uh, efforts on his part to raise taxes were defeated even by members of his own party. So priorities would be that we live within our means and get a budget done on time that's responsible and living within our means. Speaking of revenue, um, estimates were higher than what has now come into Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. How do we increase that revenue stream? Well, it's a good point. In this last budget, there, the, the amount of revenues were about $30.3 billion, but the amount of spending was $31.3 billion. Uh, as far as how do we increase our revenues, it's a very good question. We need to, in, uh, we need to work on bringing business here to Pennsylvania that Pennsylvania can then flourish because as the saying goes, uh, rising tides lift all boats. As we have an enhanced business climate, reducing regulation, uh, prohibitions and such, we'll bring more business here and then thereby increase jobs and revenue accordingly. How do we increase revenue in Pennsylvania? Well, Pens the Pennsylvania budget has been uh, plugged with all kinds of one-time only uh, revenue sources such as borrowing from the malpractice uh, insurance fund or the school scholarship, scholarship funds. We need to be on a steady path that actually raises enough revenue to do the things that we need to do. We, there are lots of things that have not been funded over this, over this period of time uh, and education has been sorely uh, reduced in the time since 2000 and uh, we really need to have education be uh, a number one priority. We need to be able to have educated students who can stay here in, La in Lancaster County or in Pennsylvania and develop the good businesses that we need and not have to move away because that's where all the opportunities are. The opioid crisis is certainly significant in Pennsylvania and the governor has challenged the legislature to do something about it. What do you think the responsibility of the state legislature is in terms of this crisis? Yesterday I went to the funeral of the daughter of a friend of mine. She had been in my daughter's Sunday school class and it was a horrible experience. People struggle with sobriety. They, uh, you know, 
the fact that uh, opium addiction, uh, heroin addiction, is a, a, a disease just as alcoholism is, we need to have the resources that go into funding uh, for people who can't afford uh, to, uh, uh, to treat their, uh, their family members for the lifetime that these, uh, the, these diseases strike, strike them. Representative Miller, what do you think the legislature's responsibility is to this crisis? Well, obviously, it is a problem that affects every part of Pennsylvania, even here locally. When I talk to our law enforcement people, they tell, us, tell me very clearly that the problem is not just in our big cities. It's right here in the 41st District. What do we need to do as a legislature? I was very glad to participate with the governor who was calling for this, the legislature to join together in a bipartisan fashion, which we did, to increase spending for treatment, uh, intervention, and other sorts of uh, remedies for this problem. Because as was mentioned, there are some very, very sad stories out there, and we as a commonwealth need to address it. All right, very good. Thank you both for joining us, and uh, good luck on Election Day. Thanks Thank for having you. us. And remember, Election Day is Tuesday, November 8th, and keep up with the latest election news on WGAL.com. There you can find more information on other races that we're following that you'll only find online.